You'll know she puts the purse here so I can't sit right next to her. There's a stand. It's fine. Don't give a damn about me. They care about you. Summer Plow, ladies and gentlemen. Give her one more hand real quick. All right, we'll just get straight into it. Um, if you have any questions for Summer, I think there's a, is there a microphone set up? It's over here. Um, so go ahead and line up. And we do have a, a limited amount of time because we do have to wrap things up at 1.55 to get the next panel in here. So first off, welcome to Dallas. Not your first time. You were actually, we met last year when you were at Dallas International for the Legend of Hell's Gate. Um, a return for Texas for you because you're a San Antonio native, um, but moved out to LA when your dancing career was cut short by a broken toe. That is true. Uh, <laughs> talk a little about the uh, transition from dancing to acting. Was, was acting something you always had in mind as a career, or was that just, well, if I can't do the play 18,000 times a day, then that's where I want to go next? Stay in school. <laughs> that's what happened to me. I am, um, <clears throat> I always thought when I was a little girl that I was going to be an actress. I don't know why. I just had this feeling that I was going to be an actress. And so I, I, I danced full time, and that was my identity, and I, I didn't really have a backup plan. And I um, <clears throat> strongly suggest to everyone out there to always keep in mind that injuries can't happen to you. And uh, that's why, that's, that's why when I was when I was 19, I had to uh, I had to kind of form a new identity, and and so I I went to this class. It was in a jazz recitals building, and it was uh, it was a class for adults who had a hard time speaking in public, <laughs> and uh, that's that's where I learned how to act. There were two auditions that you had um, when you got out to L.A. One of them we know about, which was uh, auditioning for, as a ballerina for Joss Whedon's Angel. The other was for the Pink Power Ranger. How did that go that? <laughs> I was devastated I didn't get that role. I, it was really, really close. They, they had me fly back in and fly back in. That was before I was living in L.A. full time. That was um, probably one of my very, very first auditions. And um, I remember a series of humiliating uh, auditions where I had to try to pretend that I knew how to do karate in the room. And, um, I don't know. I just didn't have quite the pizzazz that was required. I think Power Ranger. But I remember it in my heart, you know. It's a, a hard lesson learned. Everybody's going to have a lot of questions about your work with Joss Whedon, the person who now owns, I think, a piece of Facebook along with everything else. Did he didn't like buy Facebook with all the money made from Avengers to um, but you've got two projects that are coming up, or one that's in the can and one you're getting ready to, uh, if filming hasn't already started, with uh, Tricia Helfer. Uh, uh, um, sense, I, I well, it's, it's, it, I don't know what, what the actual show is going to be called, but it's based on the book Scent of the Missing. And you're, you're in the lead lap with that along with Tricia Helfer. Now, talk a little bit about that, that series. Is, is, are they shooting a pilot or has it already got a series run? We shot the pilot. And we were supposed to hear last week if we got the pickup, but they decided that they're going to finish shooting one of their other shows before they make the final decision. So for the time being, I'm, I just flew in from Toronto this morning because I'm shooting Memphis. So I'll, I'll be doing that. I'll be, I'll be going back to that show for, for a while and hope that that I hear good news about my, my TNT show. We've got a lot of questions. Let's start right over here with you, sir. Oh, big fan. I want to know what it's like uh, working with the guys from Big Bang Theory. Uh, <laughs> well, in, in real life, it was sort of a reverse role because I was the one who I think was crushing on them because they were so uh, so amazing. They were they were great, really really super smart, and. Um, and, and I run into them all the time now in, in LA, and it's sort of it's sort of like a reverse situation where I want to go up and say hi, and they're, don't talk to me, don't know my name. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm, I'm so happy I had that experience. And I take yoga with Kaylee all the time. I was like, okay. <laughs> right over here. Hello. I just wanted to know what your favorite role that you done is. I have a favorite role, but I never say what it is. 
I, I, it's like, it's like children, you just, you can't say you have a favorite. I love them all. <laughs> right back here. Hi, I just wanted to say that I came introduced to you and your work through uh, the Terminator and Sarah Connor Chronicles TV show. I, I love that show, and I was wondering, I know they were talking about doing a DVD movie or something, is there any chance that franchise will continue, and if it did, would you come back to it? Because I'd rather see that than Terminator 5. Thank you. Far, far out. <laughs> I, I'm never going to give up hope that I can that I can go back to that story. I was so, so happy playing that character. She was an amazing gift for an actress. And I, I thought that Josh Freeman did an amazing job of turning that. To, he loved the story. He's a huge Terminator fan. And uh, so I thought that he had. I, Somebody had an amazing point of view on it, and it was it was it was a, a real shame that we didn't get to go into our third season. We were going to be I was going to well. Do, do you remember the the, the finale? The, the last. I I miss it, and I would absolutely come back, and I think I think the whole cast would. Obviously, there's rights issues with it, and none, and Freeman's uh, working on a couple of projects too. Do you think that there are, but it would be drop everything we're doing this movie for I, like a six week shoot. I would, I'd, I'd force everybody. You know, I, I definitely, <laughs> you know I can't. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I, I do, I do, I have been hearing things like that. So, who knows? Thank you. I can hear. On a uh, serendipitously similar note, if say for example, a show like the Sarah Connor Chronicles or Firefly could come back as say an animated series, is that kind of, uh, I, I guess that means of, of getting more content out there is that kind of a thing attractive to you, or you know only if it's live action. Absolutely. Well, I just I just did my first um, my first voice voice work this past year playing Supergirl, and I loved it. And I I, I think that Josh's story was was so powerful and moving and. and and smart, I, I'd be happy to see it in any form, even if it was even if it was written, you know, even if it was a comic, I'd be thrilled. I just I think that I think that it was a it was a really special point of view. And <clears throat> I'd be happy to be involved even if it was just my my voice. Absolutely. At any point did Freeman say, okay, in case we don't get a chance to finish this out, this is where I was gonna go with Sarah Connor Chronicles. Was that that conversation ever happened and then swayed to secrecy afterwards? Well I think our I think our, our finale was sort of a, a hint to the audience of where we were going to go with it. I was going, you know, we were we were I don't really, really know how to describe it because we were going back to the past, but sort of the future, you know, it's a Terminator thing, but I was gonna be playing Allison <laughs> for most of the time. And I, I, I thought that would be just so so cool to see her relationship with John and and, and see what it was like for, for us to be, you know, living in this post apocalyptic world. I, I had a great time shooting that that finale was incredible. Really good stuff. So. I think we're here. Hi. Um, I've been following your work for a long time and uh, you really played some fantastic characters and you do a great job with them. I'm wondering as an actress, what is, uh, do you have a specific process or what do you do with um, your character work? Well, people ask me this question, I wish I had a better answer. I really just pretend to be that character. <laughs> and it's works <laughs> so far, I guess. I should have a better process after all this time. <laughs> but really, you know, that, that's what works best for me. And that's what's most fun for me as an as a actor. That's what I love doing. I was just thinking that last night because I, I was shooting last night and thinking uh, it's just so fun to get to be somebody else for, you know, for even, even just a minute. Because when you're shooting, it, it's it's a very short period of time that you're actually that you're actually doing it, but but it's it's an amazing feeling, and that's what that's the part that I get addicted to, and that's my part.
You'll go to some extremes with it. I mean, for example, when you were shooting Serenity as somebody who had been a vegetarian for a number of years, you went back to eating steaks just to get into that raw emotion. I well, I did. I I, I realized because I had to be in, I had to be in probably the best shape I've ever been in. I just I couldn't do it without without the extra protein, and I, I never went back to being a vegetarian after that. <laughs> Mistakes and I 